So we'll get back to some more Persona 3 Reload, where last time, we did some really dangerous investigations in, uh, behind Port Island Station, which was a horrible decision. But, well, at least we got some information thanks to Shinjiro, who is, a uh, very shady and has some weird connection to Akihiko for some reason. And this time, we're gonna be continuing on with the investigation, at least now that we have a lead, and... I will warn you, tomorrow is going to be something big. So you're going to want to have some personas. So my recommendation is have something that's good for physical and have something that's good for magic. So both of which we pretty much have. Um, oh, right, I forgot we had a Naga. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so that, actually Naga's going to be perfect for this. So my suggestion, you don't really need to be wor too worried about what personas you bring in here. But again... Just bring some stuff that's good for both magic and for physical. It doesn't have to be the same persona. Oh, right, we have Takemi Nakata. I, I forgot that we have all these. Actually, Takemi Nakata is going to be amazing because of its resistances. So, yeah. If, you need, yeah. if you need to go into Tartarus and grind or whatever, I would do so now. We're good. Even the network is not going to load. Is the network going to load? There it goes. Even the average level was 17, we're much beyond that. We're 20, so. Anyways, uh, for tonight, I believe, yeah, we just want to go to Wakatsu. That is Polonia Mall. Why did I go to Polonia Mall? Just thank God for fast travel and being extremely fast in the modern age. Uh, seriously, I have, uh, was off, uh, what am I trying to say? Okay, yeah, I'm just making sure we're eating at the right place. Seafood full course. Yeah, so. I guess uh, for context, uh, off screen, I've been. I, I like to try to play games every now and again uh, on my own time, and one of those ga uh, games has been Okami. Holy crap, they. Uh, they really needed to kind of just up it for modern consoles again, because. You know it's old when it has to tell you that it's loading off of the hard drive when it's not even a hard drive it's loading off of, but the loading in that game kind of kills me. And it's not even the system's fault or anything, it's just the game's engine. We're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, I don't feel like doing it, but we don't have a choice. And asking Mr. Akota for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially after going to that spot behind the station at night. Hey, yeah, should at least boost your confidence that you just took a punch to the gut. Oh, Kirijo Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are, Mr. Akota. I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Moriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized. She may be a model student, but deep down, she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That's not funny. night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked, so I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her, but every night, Another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. 
You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Despi... no! I... I, I didn't mean... Uh, I, I was just... Uh... That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? <sighs> a voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai! Could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? It doesn't exist? That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do?
No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? Unexplosive? <sighs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupé. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Fine by me. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. Alright, let's get this over with. I should head to the faculty office. Probably because we're the only ones that can be trusted for some reason. Nothing out in here during the night, but it's pretty cool you get to break into your own school at night. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide! Just the security guard. Think it's a ghost? Uh, of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of. <coughs> M my phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. That was so cute. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. Just trying to mess with her a little bit. Ah, uh, poor Yukari. Scared of literally, literally everything, but does not want to admit it. Faculty office! Doesn't seem to be anybody in the faculty office. Let's go in, then. Also, wouldn't have killed you to get a flashlight? No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Morgue. It doesn't matter what you say, but it's funny. What? Are you trying to scare me or something? You better watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. 
Oh, that's peachy. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Yeah, surely there won't be any ghosts. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. All right. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatai. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. I... that's right. I... guess I'm alone after all. Fuka... school. Tell her I'm sorry. Puka. So... We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh... I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. Mitsuru, can you hear me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separate. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Well, I wonder how of a way to get into Tartarus. That's a new one. Probably won't do that again. I must have lost consciousness. I don't see Sonata or Junpei. How- why are you here? Are you awake? What do you think, asshole? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Why are you here? I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Weird timings, buddy. Weird timings. Are you alright? It's too far. I can't find any backup. I'm sorry. Find us, Nico, and the others. Communication's been lost. We're on our own. And it's really not that big of a deal. There's only a couple shadows. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you have yet to get ambushed, and I do not want to have that happen today. So, these guys are just going to be little weaklings, so I'd say do as much as you can. You can't get, um, what's it? You cannot get a shuffle time through this, but 
Might as well just go and take him out. Actually, I am gonna just conserve SP and not even use SP for that. Oh, you can get shuffle times here. Uh, why? Um, okay, let me give... Uh, uh, Jeez, I don't really know what to grab here. I guess Jack-O-Lantern. Um... Who do I want? I got, I, actually, you know what? I'll get rid of Nekamata. There we go. Which, I hate that it's not Pyro Jack anymore, man. I, I said this in P5, and apparently they didn't fix it for P3, but yeah. Jack-O-Lantern's original name was Pyro Jack, and that just sounds so much cooler. Uh, that's somebody. I don't know why. Pyro Jack's just... I don't know. It rolls off the tongue easier, I guess. And you know, you got Pyro Jack and Jack uh, was Jack Frost. So Jack O' Lantern is just kind of meh. But anyways. What's your current location? Reply immediately. It might be worth it to try to get some of the shuffle times. We'll see though. Uh, if one of these are weak to Slash, which I doubt. You know, one's Wind, one's Ice. Uh, well, we have Taki Minakata for this. Because, I mean, hey, I'm going to take advantage of the shuffle times if I can get them, so. Garu. I believe shuffle times do appear more often depending on how many teammates you have, I think. Got, uh, got one here. So, uh, actually, I want the money. Give me the money. I did. I completely forgot the shuffle times appear here, so. I guess it's a nice little grind. Maybe. Doink. So yeah, again, you don't need to go and fight all these guys up. Uh, wow, that's just, I should just, yeah, I, I one shot you guys. I'm not too worried about it. Nice. Boink. So let's see, do I get a shuffle time from this? Yes, I do. Okay, so I think they all give you shuffle times. I'm easily going to grind it up on the money. <laughs> It'll save me time in the future. So yeah, these do kind of act as Tartarus floors, so you do want to at least explore around for a bit. But Garu gem, that's actually really nice. We haven't really seen Magaru. That's light wind damage to all foes on the field. So, pretty nice. Let's head up here. And let's keep moving. Why am I, Why am I here? Please, answer me. I will after I kill the shadow. Uh, where are you guys going to be? Oh, just you guys. Okay. Boink. Just <laughs> Yeah, they don't want to put... Yeah, one damage. They don't want to put anything insanely strong here because, well, you are on your own and it's a required bit in the story. So, yeah, we're getting shovel times every time. Give me more money. <laughs> Just... I'll gladly take all the money I can get. We're more than enough with levels, so we're, we're fine. Kill you! Who are you going to be? Still more of the tiaras. Okay. Boink. <laughs> Man, this is really easy. I love it. Love it. So, yeah. That's what I was warning about with yesterday, well, yesterday in game is that you'll, was it, you're going to have some fights. So, because it's a, well, I won't, ex I, I won't spoil what triggers the whole fight with shadows thing. Uh, I kind of want to go to the other direction real quick. These floors are big, too. These are really big floors for some reason. Uh, ooh, there is a chest up there. Yeah. Keep in mind, though, that I don't think you can come. Ooh, my Bufu. That's actually really good, too. That's light dam or light, bleh, light ice damage to all foes. Jesus. <laughs> In a gem, which is pretty nice. And gems are guaranteed 50 damage, at least for these ones right now. So, anyhow. Please answer me. I can't. I don't even know where you are. Uh, we'll get to you at some point, whoever you are. Probably Fuka. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Fuka. Ow. One damage. I'll gladly take it. It's over. Shuffle time? I'm taking more of the money. 2020. That was a horrible year. <laughs> Jesus. Lots of things changed under the year of 2020. I, uh... Yeah, it was not good for everybody. Revival beads. That's very nice. Uh... Half restore, or was it? It's a revive basically from Pokemon. It restores half your HP when you go down, so. Let's keep on moving. I think this is the only, or the last four we have to go and explore bits. Oh, never mind. It is the last four we gotta explore. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. I'm glad you two are safe. 
I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? Hey, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Are you okay? Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Hmm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here, then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait. You've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... okay... Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey. Did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Eagle, shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? Totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry. Hey! Wait for me! What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> What's going on? Nothing's working! Zanata-san! Gotta draw the shadows away! Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey! What the? Uh... Uka... No, what are you doing here? Morio! 
Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, better take your place. We'll handle these guys. Boss fight, and it's two against three. This fight can suck. I'll begin searching for the monster's weaknesses. Please give me some time. So Fuka is an interesting persona user. She's not an actual attacker, but What's she'll help that? us out in a bit. For this first turn, I would recommend setting up defenses as much as humanly possible. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm already set up. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Alright. Um, I'm definitely gonna put a Rakukaja on Akihiko because he is the weakest of us all already. He's not that high level. So, I'm gonna test this out. Let's see if you're weak to lightning right now. Nope. Oh, you are. Okay, that's interesting. So, the gimmick here is. These guys like to swap around their weaknesses. The Emperor can be weak to any four main elements, fire, ice, electricity, or wind. It's only weak to one of them, and it can swap it at any time. Empress can only be weak to physical moves, so slash, strike, and pierce, but it can also swap it around, so you have no idea what it is. So real quick, at least this is pretty good, I can set up defenses on Akihiko. I was really lucky, I didn't know it was gonna be weak to electric right off the gate. Um, oh right, I already have it set up on Akihiko. Okay, I just set it up on Junpei. It's Yonga. That's fine. And I believe the Emperor just uses physical. Yeah, okay. Set the slash. Ow. It's done. I can start the analysis at any time. Please tell me when to activate it. So while she's not an attacker, she is full-on analysis. After a turn has gone out, she can use her SP to carry out a full analysis of these enemies. So again, you have to get through the first round, but if you inspect, you can do full analysis. We know everything about you. I didn't know I had this kind of power. Beautiful. So we can go and set that up. So now we know this thing is weak to pierce, this thing's weak to lightning. So, with this, now that we know, take him down. Booyah. Your best option here is to take advantage of them as many all-out attacks as you can. Because the more you do, the easier it's going to get. And eventually, they will swap around their weaknesses in which you'll have to use full analysis again. But keep in mind, Fuka has her own SP gauge. She's the first navigator we've ever had that has their own SP. So, just keep that in mind. She can run out. Uh, this? Shoot. Um, yeah, I don't have anything for that, really, do I? Alright, well, this is gonna be interesting. I could... No, I don't want to use that. I guess I could just set up more Rakukashas. I don't know, keep it on Akihiko, I guess. That's fine. We're gonna get another all-out attack soon anyways, because we have Akihiko's turn. Booyah. 
So yeah, the Emperor and Empress are not too bad, just don't use anything that's, well, you're weak to. The Empress likes to use, uh, was it magical moves, while the Emperor uses physical moves for the most part. Let's do a torrent shot! Go down. Booyah. Torrent shot's really nice because it's light physical damage that hits multiple times, so it's really nice. Over halfway. Fire break. And paradigm uh, shift. Yeah. So now its affinities has changed, meaning its weakness has changed. So now it's weak to ice. So let's go do. Actually, we we're the only ones that can really take him down. So let's do Bufu on you. Boom. And let's do Torrent Shot on the Empress. That should take down the Empress, actually. Oh, wow, fully. That's pretty nice. All right, let's focus on the Emperor. Only bad thing is that the Emperor is going to be uh, kind of hard to kill now because no matter what, he does resist Slash, so you can at least still hit him with Slash, but yeah, it's uh, pretty scuffed. Uh, you know what? I could, well, nah, nah, block on this turn. Just wait till you go down. Getsu Ue, er, Getsu Ie, er, I, I don't know how you say it. Getsu Ai, I think you say it. I'll go with. Let's bring you down a notch. And there we go. This fight's really not that bad. Just take advantage of Fuka's, well, weakness policy, I guess you could call it. Her analysis, and you'll be good. Level up on Akihiko. Like Who now gets Taruda? Would have been pretty nice. It lowers the enemy's attack for three turns. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Fuka. You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Fuka! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Fuka... Fuka... I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> it wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. That mysterious boy appeared again. His warnings don't seem to be just dreams. But I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. Good morning. Hi, Mitsuru. How's everything going? Yamagishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be released from the hospital in the next, in the next few days. What will happen now? Precisely. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power of hers, we could definitely use her help. Yeah, considering we lost all communication with you. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> well, we're free once again. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm wondering, can I actually do... Yeah, no, okay. Once we have... Uh, well, once we can actually go and talk to Fuka, we'll go talk about things with her. But she's a very interesting Persona user. She's really, really cool. But anyways, since we had a really long fight and everything, I know it's a little earlier than usual, but I think I'm going to end things off here because I think that just makes sense. So next time on Persona 3 Reload... 
I guess we'll keep going on with our days and hopefully Fuka will join us. That'd be very nice. That'd be very nice to have. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.